Love Your Neighbor, written by Cindy Kenny. The boy with a pot from Jibberty Lot returned the next day, although it was hot. He wanted to see the man he'd befriended, to give him his shoe and see how he'd mended. His cucumber friend said, You're back with my shoe. You walked all the way to Flibberoloo? I hope that you'll stay and talk for a bit. I want to say thanks, so I hope that you'll sit. So the boy sat down and they talked for a spell about what had happened and what had gone well. Since the boy with the pot from Jibberly Dot had helped the cucumber out of that spot. Both Jibberty Lot and Flibberoloo had learned to be neighbors and love others too. They now understood how important it was to be kind to each other and all that it does. Take for example what the mayor now knew. He respected all towns, even Flibberoloo. And the doctor, she too, had learned quite a lot to make time for others wearing shoes or a pot. And those Flibian friends could now be heard singing a song through their towns with a new message ringing. We're busy, busy, dreadfully busy, but we learned a lesson of what we should do. We're busy, busy, shockingly busy, but never too busy for you. So the boy with the pot from Jibberty Lot and his friend with the shoe from Flibberoloo. They talked for a while, quite pleased that they got a chance to learn better just what they should do. When you see a person in trouble or need, perhaps you'll remember to do a good deed. Cause God made them special, just like he made you. We can all love each other like God wants us to. If you can, draw a picture of a shoe and a pot and draw a picture of your neighbor or friend. Matthew twenty-two thirty-nine, 39, Jesus said, love your neighbor as you love yourself. The end.